So anyway, guys, it's been an adventure. It's been a bit of a uh, a wandering lost. But we've just come up to the top of the falls now to go use the toilets because they're, they're only public toilets up here. Um, is at the very top of the fall, so if you are going to the bottom, you can either walk all the way up here from the track, or you can drive back around. We drove back around because we actually found another one that we might want to go and have a look at um, for today's adventure. So yeah, this is Les Murdy Falls. We've been here in our own little place in Perth, WA. We got lost in Perth. And um, yeah, but that's all part of the adventure and it's part of our channel, so we'll see how we go. At the moment we're just going to do a toilet break and we're going to head out to another one. And when we get out there we'll tell you what that is. Come back to you shortly guys. We can drive, oh, drive all, drive all night. We can drive, oh. Drive all, drive all night So the second part of our adventure today, Alice Brook Valley Reserve. There you go. Oop. Oop, just smash my other camera on the uh, pole. It's not good for it. We don't know where we're going. We're going to try and find another waterfall. First I will just want to take a picture of this. And Diane's still got this camera thing going on. <laughs> See? And I'll take a photo of what she's taking a photo of with the Canon M50. So yeah, we come out to have a look at this one too, and it's only about 15 minutes from home. Once again, in our own backyard. Can't do anything overseas, but we can do them here for you. So this, we've been out to Les Murdy Falls. This one's Alice Brook Reserve. There's apparently a waterfall down the bottom, so we're going to have a look at that. And uh, we were just talking on the way here as well. We'll take you out and show you Serpentine's Falls and dwelling up and all that too. Maybe next weekend. We'll see how we go. I'll get a photo of this. So waterfall. The waterfall, 600 metres up that way. And that's the quarry that way. There's that sign. I'd love to do the GoPro camera walk past again. Yeah. He's coming behind you. Back to the day, the 
day that I gave my heart away This is really hard to use the camera and walk up. This is more rocky than the other one. And you got to keep moving. One thing's for sure, you gotta keep moving off the track, it's really skinny. <laughs> wow, it's a real skinny path. First set of steps we've come across. Give you a workout. <laughs> we've got to keep moving out of the way for others. Hard to get our walk bys with the cameras. Yeah, if you want to work out. Come out to Alice. Look. He's there. <laughs> oh, flat ground. For a bit. This is so cool. This would be good in the right light. If that's a waterfall like there, it isn't actually flowing. But after winter, I reckon it will cool. Because it will flow all the way down here. But that's where the water runs down there. When it's running. how far up that is. So yeah guys this is halfway up. We'll uh, do a pan around and show you. If there wasn't people out here I'd have my drone out but it's really windy to be flying a drone out here in this gully. Mm. It'll probably take off on me somewhere else so I don't think we'll get any drone footage this trip but maybe next trip we'll see how we go. But this is what we've got so far and we're only halfway up and it's really dry and very smoky out here so some of our photos might not look that good anyway. But we'll just do a pan and show you. That's the top of the waterfall up there. We're halfway up on a lookout. And that's where we've walked from down there. If you look over here, that's where the water runs. So yeah, it's halfway up and we're going to continue on going up. We'll see you at the top. Anyway guys, we've been to the 
halfway up we didn't go all the way around the track and now we're going to head back down there wasn't a lot to see here no water flowing and that but pretty dry so we're going to head back down now and head on home Not really, because you turn sideways. And you can actually rest your feet against these rocks as you step down. Yeah, it's pretty dry. It's not flowing like the uh, Les Murdy Falls, unfortunately. Or I would have been over there snapping some water shots. I think we've got, uh, we got a few of this dry area. I'm going to home do some editing and see what they look like. Okay. When we've had more rain, we'll come back out here and show you this one flowing dry and sunny. 15 minute drive from home, and we can actually come out early enough up the drone unfortunately today we did not get in the drone footage but be prepared a lot of stairs huh? yes so what we'll do now is because it's a bit of a hairy track on the way down we're gonna cut the video there and we're gonna make our way down and we'll come back to you at the bottom so anyway guys there you have it that was Alice Brook Ellis Brook Valley Reserve. And we just in walked Martin. up to the top, yeah, in Martin, 15 minutes from home. We live in Gosnell's area. Walked up to the, halfway up to the top, got to the top, and unfortunately there's no water flowing. So this morning's Les Murdy Falls it was a bit better. We got more photos and footage there. But we just walked up, we've just walked all the way down. And that is in our own backyard, guys. We spent the Saturday, a couple of hours, started at 7 o'clock this morning, which ended up being 8 o'clock. And uh, yeah, basically went and seen some stuff around home that we hadn't been to before, didn't know he was here. So, at the end of the day, we're doing it in our own backyard. We just want to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and the bell notification for more coming to you. This is Robin Diane from Middle Age Adventures. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye. <laughs>